हेलो एवरी वन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम एंड वेलकम टू फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द फेब्रेरी चैलेंज येस्टरडे वी कम्प्लीटेड द जनवरी चैलेंज एंड आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट द बैच फॉर इट दिस वॉज द नाइन्थ बैच फॉर द मंथली चैलेंजेस दैट सिंपली मीन्स दैट वी हैव सॉल्व अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन एटी क्वेश्चन ओवर लास्ट वन एटी डेज विदाउट फेल येस विदाउट फेल दैट मीन्स वी हैव बीन कंसिस्टेंट अलॉन्ग थ्री एटी डेज without missing out on a single day solving the lead code daily challenges i hope you enjoyed this journey with me and we'll continue doing the same for this year as well without further ado let's quickly talk about today's question the question that we have is best time to buy and sell stocks here in this question we are given a array of prices where the price on the ith day is given by price at the ith index what we need to do we want to maximize the profit that simply means you are buying on a particular day selling on the other day so what you need to do is simply need to turn the maximum profit that can be achieved given the prices configuration that that is there for example we have the area 715 364 so what you are going to do you are going to buy on this particular day where the price is one unit and you are going to sell the product or stock on this particular day when the price is six units the profit earned would be equal to 5 and that's the maximum one that can be generated out of this price configuration let's quickly walk through the presentation that i have created and conclude this approach this is a simple question and i hope most of you are able to solve it by yourself best time to buy and sell stocks lead code 121 so let's take the same example that was specified in the question we have the elements as 715364 and we also know that the selling happens in future so this gives us the biggest hint that we need to traverse in the a reverse direction starting from the rightmost terminal to the leftmost terminal because we'll be sure that what was the maximum selling price in the future and let's get started so let's i trade in the reverse direction let's create a variable selling price and let by default it will be set to 0 uh, what element do we see here we see 4 so selling price gets updated to 4 let's proceed ahead next we see is a uh, selling price as 6 6 is greater than 4 that means we are going to get more benefit if we sell on this particular price that simply means let's update the selling price to 6 so selling price gets updated to 6 let's proceed ahead next we see is 3 so 3 uh, happens to be lower than 6 that means let's stick to 6 as the selling price let's proceed ahead next we see is 5 5 happens to be lower than 6 that simply means stick to 6 because 6 happens to be greater and it will lead to profit let's proceed ahead next we see is 1 One happens to be lower than six. That means let's six to six. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is seven. Seven happens to be greater than six. That simply means let's update our selling price to seven. So now we have calculated the selling prices at each index, and let's go for the profit calculation part. Profit calculation simple: selling price minus cost price. So assuming that you are buying on this particular price, selling on this particular price, let's calculate the profit. profit comes out to be 0 here profit comes out to be 5 here profit comes out to be 1 here profit comes out to be 3 here profit comes out to be 0 here profit comes out to be 0 again so what is the maximum profit that you can see over here the maximum profit is a 5 minutes and this becomes the answer the time complexity of this approach is order of n space complexity of this approach is order of 1 uh, let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude the approach there along with this this is not the first question of this series we have solved all the questions of the series i'm attaching the link list rather i'll show you the link list so let's walk through this code and then we will uh, go through the uh, playlist uh, i created a max profit variable i created a selling price variable i started the iteration in the reverse direction selling price happens to be equal to max dot max selling price comma current price maximum profit would be equal to max dot max max profit comma selling price minus current price in the end you simply return the max profit value accepted awesome time complexity is pretty good the tc for this is order of n the sc for this is constant time and now let's talk about the playlist where we have solved approximately uh, five questions of the best time to sell stock series and this would be sixth one to this list if you are interested in solving out more such questions please have a look at this playlist these questions are harder than this question and you will definitely going to enjoy uh, them in case you find any issues with these questions uh, do have a look at these videos these are definitely going to help you out all of them are based on dynamic programming approach 
this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye